So I'm in the NEC booth uh, in Fortuna. This is all 4.1 in case anyone's around here and sees this before the end of the show. I'm standing here with Chris Parker. Okay. And actually, what's your job title? Um, I'm the European uh, product manager for we call it specialty desktop displays, which is color critical and medical. Okay, excellent. So that means I should be asking you really hard technical questions. And I should be giving you really good answers. Okay, that's yeah. good. Uh, I see there are some new products this year, or at the show, I guess. Yeah. Uh, do you mind just, I guess, going through them quickly? I think the P221W is kind of an older product. It's a bit older product. Maybe as an entry level color critical monitor, it's interesting. What's more interesting is the new PA23 inch, okay. PA231, which was very shortly to be launched. It's got the new 16 to 9 format okay. with a full HD resolution, and it's priced um, pretty aggressively, offering full color critical functionality. Okay, so it is an IPS panel? It's EIPS, which means it um, offers stable viewing angles, but at a reasonable price. Okay. And is it a wide gamut as well, or is it? Unfortunately not in this, this one. It's got a uh, standard sRGB type uh, gamut. Okay. But there is a spectra view option available. We will be launching it as a spectra view type of monitor too. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I guess what else do you have here? I mean, in a sense, maybe we're getting quite quickly, but this is like the, the high point of our new releases this year. And this is um, the 27 inch spectra view. Okay. Spectra view reference 271. Um, it's got a, a pretty unique format, 16 to 9, very high resolution, okay. 2560 by 1440, and enjoys a 10-bit PIPS panel. Okay, now PIPS, how does that differ from SIPS that was in the 2690 and HIPS that was in 3090? Um, it differs incrementally in a sense. Um, with the PIPS, we've got a slightly improvement on the aperture, we've got slightly more light coming through, we've improved the contrast. Um, ratios and improved efficiencies, efficiencies a little bit, but in terms of color gamut, it's pretty much the same. And in terms of IPS uh, viewing angle stability, very similar again too. Okay, that's good. I, I guess I'm noticing too the label, uh, like the, I guess the model number, I don't know if we can see that in the video here, but the label is just a sticker, I guess, on the front. Yes. Is it because of the, I guess it because of the screening has not been done yet on the housing, or is that that's how they're going to No, come? this is how we do it. I mean, we take standard product from Japan or China yep. into Europe. We have a fairly lengthy um, testing and selection procedure. Measure the delta E across the screen, do some checks on the pixel defects, do a firmware switch, and if it makes a grade, it becomes a spectra view. And uh, we put a sticker on because using a, a bezel replacement um, is slightly more onerous and could inflict more damage on the, on the monitor. Yeah. Sticker it is, is okay. Okay, so I guess back to the topic of spectra view certification. Uh, so not so like the non spectra view version, like the, the version of this that doesn't come with the software and without the color calibrator, is actually in a way potentially not as good a monitor as well, hardware wise, or not as accurate a monitor. So. No, it's it's a, it's a standard monitor. Um, obviously, we do have selection for the spectra view, and we do offer a premium, but the remaining uh, product is still. Of excellent quality. Right. Well, no, sorry, I wasn't saying that it was bad quality, I just said it's not as nice as the one selected for the Spectre branding. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. I mean, we don't offer it with um, a zero pixel defect warranty. Okay. Uh, we don't offer it with a hood or, or the profile of software. You know, it really is as is. It comes with a, a good set of specifications, but we, um, we're not promoting it particularly in a very kind of critical or the exceptionally demanding segments which um, where we put the Spectra View. So Spectra View has, well, all the Spectra View, even in North America, do they have a zero pixel, guarantee, a dead pixel guarantee? I can only talk for Europe. Um, and in, in Europe, Europe they do. all the Spectra Views have a zero pixel defect guarantee. Interesting. Okay, I should check that out actually. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I see the hood design is a bit different too. Yeah, um, particularly with the new formats coming through, um, you know, 27 inches in a new format. We've had the, the hood specially made, so it's unique. It's just dedicated to this monitor. In the past, we've had some hoods which can be more flexible in size and fit on the 21, 24, or 26-inch monitors. But here, this is a dedicated hood. Fits only with this monitor. I see. And then dedicated, just and that you know, helps with rigidity, or what happens? Like, what are the advantages of having one that is not adjustable? Um, well, it's easy to put together. Um, <laughs> if you put in, put together a completely adjustable universal hood, you know there's quite a lot of adjustment clips which can make it more complicated. So yeah. quickly put together and it fits probably a little bit more snugly too. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I guess is... 
Well, actually, just back to the topic of the 2690 as well. Like, so the 2690 yeah. is now end of life. Is that what's happening? Yes. So the 2690 will be shipping for the last time in September, October okay. time frame, and then we'll be moving and migrating our customers onto the 27 inch format. Okay. And I guess it's back to the question I asked you yesterday. Uh, what if I really like the fact that my 2690 had the same resolution as a 24-inch monitor because I could sit back further? Like, what is going to happen now? And you're telling me that this new monitor has a higher resolution, right? Yeah. Um, it, it is a little bit of an issue. Um, we know that a larger pixel pitch, which was associated with the 2690, had a particularly comfortable type of viewing, especially of text. Yes. Um, with the higher resolutions coming through and also the new 16 to 9 formats, um, most of the panels are coming with a smaller pixel pitch. Gives you a benefit of maybe crisper, sharper pictures, but the readability of text can be a bit more awkward. And we are relying on um, adjustments in the operating system, like Windows 7, if uh, font scaling, which um, you can enjoy the benefits of high resolution, but the fonts or texts or the menuing um, of the operating system can be enlarged to become more comfortable. Right. So we are hoping for software solution to. Uh, maybe a hardware issue. Honestly, well, a question too, a display port. Display port's in this monitor, right? Yes. So, okay. um, display port is clearly for us um, a very attractive new connector. It'll be gradually replacing DVI-D. Okay. Um, display port offers easier um, support of higher bandwidth, high resolutions. Um, particularly on this 27 inch, which has got a very high resolution, we don't need to worry about dual link or different types of DVI adapters. Display port will just do it straight off out of the box.